Gunners Collective, back at it. You already know. I said, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I'm feeling it today. I said, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. like a motherfucking, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. like a motherfucking smack at it. Fire, fire, fire. Order the Raiders. We can't win shit, but we're real shit. Now trip out. As you can tell by the thumbnail right there, uh, North is <laughs> Now trip out, bro. Um, in a menudo style of direct fashion, I'm going to explain the thumbnail to you guys right now. You can see the title so you know what it is, man. You know, why? Oh, why must I be so fly? Most folks tell me, Gunner, you ain't right. Order in a menudo style of direct fashion, we're going to get straight into it. Now, let me tell you something about being a Norteño at one point in time. It was my corazón. It was my heart. Okay? But now I find myself in a certain situation. You know, I find myself in a place, homes, where I never thought I would be. You know, is it a place of def desolation, no hope, you know, persecution, oppression? You know, I've, I've went through all that in my life. You know, I went through the struggle. I went through the realness. Says, I was there, homes. This is the real stuff. I um, walked that line. I seen the train up coming. It was coming around the bend. I was on my black man and black shit, on my Johnny Cash shit, right? I seen it coming a long time ago. Okay, but I never seen it coming to me. Okay, I'm a hated ass man when it comes to the Norteño plight. All my life, you know, it was always me against the opposition. The opposition being the South or the Africanos or Sprinkle in the Woods, brother, or the white guys or whoever the enemy guy was at that particular point in time. Okay, but then I found myself caught up in situations where after I was up out the way way, Norteños were looking at me or feeling some type of way about me. Now, I always get to thinking about if I would have never started YouTube. See, before I started this YouTube shit, I was good. That's it. I was all up in the hood. The culebra was real. I was wiggling, right? I was getting my snake on. <laughs> getting my Grinch on slithering. But at the same time, there was always those that opposed what I had going on. There was always those that didn't like me for one reason or another. See, now I was always known in the hood as that flashy motherfucker that thought he was a bad motherfucker, right? I was just like anyone else. I wasn't no better than anybody. I was a little ganged up. You know, I got the gang. You know, I got the charisma, I say. And I definitely got the knowledge you can't get in college, but at the same time, I wasn't any better or any less than any other man or any other Norteño that was rocking in the city of Merced, period. That's right off the top. Let's establish that right now. Facts. Um, but I found myself now in certain situations because of this YouTube drama, because of things that I've spoken on and things that I've said. You know, it seems like all points bulletin on your boy, allegedly. Okay. Um, I can't wiggle like I used to. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm a grown man, so I can go wherever I want. You know, a grown man can get up, gotta get up, bitch, I gotta get going, gonna see some camaradas of mine. I definitely could strap on the boots one time and definitely stomp in my steel toes and head for a murder show. But is it gonna be my show is it, or their show? One never knows does one. In this world that we live in today, everybody, and I mean everybody, has to better watch their backs. Gotta watch your backsides, huh? You never know who's gonna try to pitch your butt. Right? That's, it's just ugly nowadays. I don't even know what pronouns are nowadays. Okay? Back in my days, it was adjectives, verbs, nouns. Now it's pronouns. It's different. That's it. They're, you know, everyone got their pincher on. Now, trip out. Um, you know, the other day, um, I was in the Bay Area, and I was wiggling through a town. Um, and I'm not going to even bring up the town, because that's too close for comfort, too close to home. You call the Ghostbusters, and we ain't control. And anyways, I was getting my smooth groove on, cruising, and I seen a bunch of young Norteños. Okay, and I'm pulling up to a store, homes. I'm pulling up. I could have easily did the coward thing and backed on up for they checked my chin. Um, but I decided that for no other reason, man, I was going to stand my ground. I was going to, hey, whether I was recognized or not for being Gunners Collective, um, it was fucking put up or shut up time. And I definitely was not going to shut up. Okay, at no point in time is this to disrespect those young Norteños. But um, it, was, it was time, homes. It's time to rock and roll, let's see, right? Um, so I jumped out the carro. Fuck it. <laughs> Hit that alarm one time. 
and but my alarm just has to be loud. They drew their attention. So a couple of them started looking at me and I, and I walked up in the 7-Eleven store to get my Powerball tickets. I said, I said, damn, can I get a, let me get 10 of those bad boys, quick picks. Just, I'm trying to win the fucking one point, whatever it was at that point. Um, and these guys were looking at me, you know, and one in particular was staring pretty hard. And I just told a story yesterday about the South Siders jumping on me. And there was one that just had the eye of the tiger. He looked like Ivan Drago in Rocky IV. If he dies, he dies. That, that's the look he had. The look of nonchalant, the look of fucking, I, I don't get, I don't care about my life. The look of, man, anybody can get it. I know that look. I once had that look. I don't have that look anymore. Now I'm just trying to look, so I, say, I hope I get the fucking right numbers on this Powerball. That's what I look for now. You know, I'm all about fucking uh, uh, the expression of myself, being positive and just doing my own thing. Of course, I know I'm a hated man, especially when it comes to the North Daniels. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this first and foremost, um, it hurts my heart. Uh, for my own people, yes, I consider these my own people still to this day uh, to not like me, you know, not even know me, not even know what I was about, the work that I put in. I know it doesn't count anymore. I know what the guys are going to say. None of that matters. Okay, all right. Well, it does to me. But look, so anyways, I jump off the car, boom, I'm going to give me a Slurpee and fucking some tickets. And uh, as I'm coming out, the Vatos is a gunner. I said, damn, they got me, right? They got me. I said, what's up, homes? He says, hey, that's you, huh? He says, hey, trip out, bro. Hey, uh, you know the homies are tripping off you. Now, it was at that point in time, I already knew. You know, I'm not going to say what, 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 what allegedly I had or what allegedly they had. Let's just say that there was a standoff in the OK Corral. So I'm, I'm reaching, you know, uh, from my back pocket like, what's, up? what's good, bro? You know, uh, I'm, I'm busted. I'm cold busted. Sit down here. Yeah, I'm so disgusted with you. I don't know what to do. It was at this point, I had to make a move. I had to make the next move because there comes a time in your life, you're either going to be a fucking poop butt and a punk and just bow down like, nah, it ain't like that. Ain't. I'll fuck. Nah. Or you're going to just stand your ground like, fuck it. If I get shot, I get shot, homes. Allegedly. Right? Um. So he was like, hey, what's up? You know, the homies are tripping off you. I said, yeah, I, I, I feel that. I said, but at the same time, bro, I ain't tripping off you guys. And he said, yeah, but it ain't like that, bro. You already know what it is. And I said, okay, well, they're going to jump all over your boy one time. I said, well, 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 what is it, man? What is it? What is it that I say or that I do, Holmes, that you are tripping off of? I'm not worried about everyone else. I'm talking to you and your four camaradas right here, your homeboys, the homies. What are you guys tripping on? The other ones didn't even know me. They were like, we're tripping? I mean, we'll, I'll strip the clipping and get to spitting, but I ain't tripping, right? He was like, hey, can I get at you over here? I said, hey, Indubitably, you know what I mean? Cause I'm not trying to scratch my car, cause I'm thinking about power, power slamming a motherfucker through my windshield. So I said, of course, eh? My shit already got too many scratches on it. Let's walk over here. So we walk right there. He lights up a prow. He's like, yeah, the homies are tripping, bro. Um, you know, it's been put out there about you, man. You're 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 not a righteous dude. You done fell off. Um, you were never this. You were never that. Some of the things you say aren't real, homes. You were never moving in a northern fashion like that. And I said, let me explain something to you, young buck. I didn't say it in them exact words, but I was thinking it though, right? I said, let me explain something to you, bro. Um, I'm an older man, okay? Um, I know I could have easily left shit alone, Holmes, lived my life, welded some shit up and made a little feria. But I took it upon myself, Holmes, to voice my opinions, to be my man, myself, to be my own man, and to do what I do. And if I have to feel the repercussions for that, well, I guess that's just the way it goes, right? I'm not here to disrespect any raza, north or south, period. That's not what I do, Holmes. But I am here to spread the gospel, Billy Graham style, for unity and for the righteousness of the people. So that way, ho hopefully, possibly, you as well as myself, your faction, their faction, everybody's faction, Holmes, can enjoy the fucking bolsita, I see? That's it. You know, I know um, I don't need to be doing this. I know, you know, uh, a lot of people don't respect me and are not listening to the words that are coming out of my fucking mouth. But at the same time, there are a lot of people that are. And those are the people that I do it for. I said, if it can help you, Essie, and help me, and it can help me to help you, and it can help you definitely to help me, well, I'm going to keep doing what I does. And it was in a whole bunch of different verbalage. But that's basically the roundabout, uh, 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 you know, conversation. He was just like, look, Essie, I'm not even tripping off you like that, bro. I'm just letting you know, you know, you're around here. You're moving like that. You got to move smooth. If you're lacking, if the wrong homeboy sees you, um, he can get you. And then I started to reminisce back. You know, I started to reminisce back about when I first fell off. Yes, I'm going to say it. I said it. Fill it up with it. When I first fell off, that's the words they like to say. So I'm going to use their verbalage, bro. When I first fell off. You know, I don't think I fell off. 
I think I fell into being a man, right? But I fell out, according to what, you know, the words are out there. And um, a lot of people in my town were tripping on me, but nobody tripped on me. You feel me? Now, it's 20 fucking years later, and there's still a lot of people tripping on me, but nobody tripped on me. Okay? When you're a Norteño, okay, you carry yourself with dignity, pride, and the utmost respect. And the same thing goes for the South Homes and the Perro Chacos. There's a certain way to move. There's a certain time to put in work. If a vato's on site, if a vato, you just got to get at them because you got to get at them. Well, that's up to you as a man to do what you got to do that particular point in time. If you don't feel like doing it, homes, if you feel like it's not in your best interest, I say you ain't got to do nothing. Nobody dictates your program but the Norte or the Sur or the fucking Perro Chatos. That's what dictates your program. It's how much your heart bleeds that particular cause. You know, I know back in the days, I wouldn't have hesitated. And I'm not saying these guys, because they're going to see this because they watch me, homes, or at least one of them does, that dude. Um, I'm not here to fucking uh, uh, misdirect him or poison him or say what he did was coward shit. What it was, I, I appreciate, I fucking appreciate you, man, for giving me the ghetto pass. And I appreciate you for giving yourself the ghetto pass because I wasn't going out like that, bro. Believe that. See, I'm from the old school, from that 90s era. I'm an 80s baby. Uh, we're different, homes. You know, we're the type of motherfuckers to drink the milk out the bowl like that after a motherfucking bomb ass fucking bowl of fruity pebbles. That's it. You know, different times, different places. Now, I understand that this guy was basically giving me a heads up and letting me know exactly what it is. So I started to inquire to some active homeboys that I know. How hot am I, bro? What is this really about? What is everyone tripping on me for? Well, bro, they feel that it's disrespectful because you're, you're putting too much out there. What am I putting out there that's wrong? Besides... The progression of unity for the people. Besides giving the Rasa a platform and a voice to be heard. Homes. What am I doing? Explain to me. You know, when I was a Norteño, homes, I was out there robbing, beating, maiming, hurting, terrorizing. Not in, not on the behalf of the Norteños, but on the behalf of myself, thinking I was something that I really wasn't. That's not what the Norte meant, homeboy. That's not what it meant. Just like that's not what the soul means, homes. You know, it's to better yourself, to prosper as a person, a coming together of your people to hold it down for your fucking guy in your barrio. I knew that, but still I chose that criminal lifestyle. See, that's what people don't understand. You got to separate the criminal lifestyle from the motherfucking cause, right? Just because you're a Norteño doesn't mean you're a criminal. Just because you're a fucking Sureño doesn't mean you're a criminal. I know a whole bunch of righteous ass camaradas, Sureño, Southsiders, Bulldogs, Norteños, Latin Kings, Satan's Disciples, fucking que la chingada. And the list goes on and on that are righteous dudes that have families, that are family men, that work, that do their thing. homes. But when their homeboy needs them, you and I must make a path. They'll be there, homie. And not, not necessarily that Michael will do it the Mariah way because, you know, she didn't touch boys. But you know what I'm saying? Tabotito pinche Michael, right? I don't care what you say. That's okay. Where did you come from, babe? I don't know. I know where I came from, homes. Merced. I don't know where you came from, Mr. Indiana. I'm going back to Indiana. Well, do it because you got priors. Now, trip out. Um, so I had a conversation with the guy, but I'm thinking all this is going through my head. Like, what did I do? What did I do? Now, I know what I've done. You know, I've spoke. Um, you know, on prison, on gangs, on gang violence. And a lot of people think, you know, because I'm talking and I'm saying my fucking stories and I'm putting my truths out there that, um, oh man, that's not the get down. That's not how we get down. And I was one of those motherfuckers advocating that back in the days. Oh, e pobre. See, I'd have had my own head up my ass faster than a rabbit gets fucked. So I looked and a person posed a question to me the other day and trip out. It, it resonated. So I'm going to put it out there since we're talking about uh, me when I was a North Daniel. What would my young self do to my older self? Yeah, hold. I'm going to tell you what I would have done. I would have done knocked my whole noodles out of, out of my motherfucking head. Right? Because I was that aggressive. I was that much blinded by my own misdeeds, my own misgivings, my own hatred for anything that wasn't like me or agreed with me. That's what it's all about, homes. If you didn't agree with me, it didn't matter where you're from. You could have been a homeboy, red on red. If you didn't agree with what I had going on at that particular point in time, I will fucking scramble your eggs. That's it. I will knock your noodles backwards. You know what I mean? I will fillet your mignon. Period. 
That was my young ways of thinking. I was young. I wasn't great yet. You know what I mean? My people was still like at a seven or eight. You know, now it's different. You know, your balls drop. You know what I mean? I, I have problems. Now, those are my issues though. Pensa. My torta ain't tripping. Now look, um, nowadays, what my older self would have said to my younger self is slow down, Esse. slow down, Baboso, before you end up doing life over something that really doesn't mean as much to you as you think it does because you don't understand. So my message is to the young Norteños, the Southsiders, everyone, gang members, I'm talking to you, Esse. sprinkle in the woods, brother, and all the Africano brothers that hold it down for their hood righteously. Um, the world we live in is dangerous. It's different. They're stretching you out. They're maxing you out. They're giving you all day homes. You know, you're doing things for a cause or a gang that you don't know much about. You're not as educated as you think you are. The education never stops. It's just like a doctor. Oh, shit, I know how to work on this, but I don't know how to work on that, right? Yeah, oh, shit, shit, I know how to fucking elongate that. People, you just pull it like this and snip it, right? Yeah, but do you know how to fix my nose? I mean, people uh, nose couldn't be too much of a difference. Charlie Holmes, not everybody knows everything. So if you're not fully educated and understanding why you're doing some of the things you do, you need to stop and think about what you do as a man before you put yourself and hinder yourself and put you in a, yourself in a bad situation. Okay? Let me tell you a story about a young northern. I had a young homeboy, bro. Right? Vato was about the business. Different. The type, he was old dog, only in brown form. He was old dog without the dookie braids. He was old dog with fucking three flowers in his hair. He was different, right? He was the type of dude when he came into the party, ah, oh, fuck, bro, that Vato's here? Somebody's getting shot. You know, you just one of them type of homeboys. That type of homeboy, you're like, fuck, hey, hey, did he see me yet? Did he see me yet? I'm out, bro. I'm at the back door. Fuck that. Hey, come here, Torta, you come with me. Shit, Arby's tonight. You want to get away from the situation because he's the type that he always, he was trying to portray himself as that one, as that big badass, homes. But everyone else around him always got locked up. Everyone else around him always felt the repercussions. And somehow, someway, I'm not saying he was telling because I don't think that was the case. But somehow, someway, he's always able to escape the wrath of the fucking black guy while everyone else was like, fool, I told you, eh? You know what I mean? He's like, stop dry snitching. You know what I mean? Straight up. This bottle was making moves and doing things and pushing fucking uh, uh, his agenda on people without being fully educated. And what happened is they caught up to him. You know, he th he got some communication from somewhere. I'm not going to say who from uh, some higher organization. I'm not going to say how. Um, but he was able to ascertain a Paloma, a Huila, a Cana, or whatever the case may be on the calles that didn't particularly, uh, uh, he shouldn't have had it. It shouldn't have never got to his hands. But somewhere along the line, someone fucked up. And it got to his hands. And he took the initiative almost to make his next move his best move. What he figured. And to do something to someone, bro. That is shit. It wasn't justified. And what happened? Well, they found him in a trunk homes in fucking Arizona. Okay? That's what happened. Because he jumped the gun without educating himself. My message is this. When you're in the mix, homes, be about your business. I ain't mad at you. I was. Cuz. Right? Fill me up. But at the same time, know what you're doing, homes. Slow down and think a little bit. Slow down. I just want to get to know ya. You know what I mean? Get on your Bobby Valentino shit and fucking slow down, bro. Relax. I said, calm down. You know, educate yourself into the plight of what can happen and what's going to happen if you get in the mix. Again, he wasn't thinking straight, bro. He was that one and now he's no longer. You know, when this youngster gave me the pass, I embraced that pass. And I gave him some fletch on the way, walking away from 7-Eleven. I told him, hey, the Slurpee's on sale and you get you some Powerball tickets. Just so you come up and then you don't even give a fuck about nothing, right? And, you know, I hear you, little homie. Your voice was felt, heard, embraced. And gracias for not making this something that it should have never been. I understand how people feel about me. Do you understand how I feel about you? Because I got nothing but love for you, homie. Regardless if you embrace that or not. He was like, gracias, big homie. I said, I ain't your big homie. But I'm your homie, though. Right? With that being said, it's just real shit. Facts. I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, man, you know, you could run up on someone, homes, but you better be ready to handle your business when you do. 
Some people are, some people ain't. Some people don't even know why the reason why they ran up on this guy. They heard some or, or fucking did some, um, but they really don't do nothing, man. You know, but then there are some that will, will blank your blank your whole fucking chalkboard. They'll erase you. And that's just what it is, allegedly. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Just a little education knowledge you can get in college. To the young ones, man, that are out there doing their thing. My respects and respects as always. And we're going to continue as such. Anyways, I ain't going nowhere, Soms. I'm going to rock this unity shit to the motherfucking wheels fall off. To the fucking bogues are flattened. To the fucking Dayton's bend. Orale, I got Zenith's anyways. They look better on the carro. Bang, bang. Scratches y todo oh my. Oh, well. Right? Thumbs up one time if you're feeling your boy. If not, you can hit me with that thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears this motherfucking pinchy smooth ass crown. We're going to do what we does, cuz. And in that fashion, respects the gun. Bang, bang.